In this episode, we'll be shooting Iguazu Falls. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that has everything for photographers. You can check them out at adorama.com. Well today on Exploring Photography, we're going to do something a little bit different. I call it a ride along. Instead of me teaching you some principles of photography, we're going to take some of those things that we've already learned and put them into practice as I shoot one of the most amazing things in the world, one of the natural wonders of the world. It's Iguazu Falls, these massive waterfalls that span Brazil and Argentina. In fact, that's where I am right now. I'm in a little hostel just a few miles from the waterfalls. What I want to do is walk you through what I'm going to put in my camera bag and some of the the things I'm going to bring along and then as we walk through the park we'll put those into practice. Now uh, I'm going to be shooting uh, with my Canon 5D Mark III and I'm only bringing one lens that's my 16 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 L lens. Now the reason I'm doing that is a couple days ago we scouted the falls and we did that. I used my little Fuji X10. Now this is uh, a few years old. The new Fuji is I think it's the X30 you can get that. It's a great little camera for just zipping around. Now I really wanted to see exactly what, was, what it was like at the falls and what I found was there are a massive amount of people there. I was planning on trying to do some really slow shutter, uh, dragging the shutter so we can get some water like glass like we shot in Ecuador. Um, that would require a tripod, but guess what? There's no way I can use a tripod because there's so many people and it's just too crowded. And so instead of bringing a tripod, what I'll be doing is this tripod allows me to convert it to a monopod. So I'm actually gonna take this center column out and take one of these legs off here. This is my Benro Travel Angel 2 carbon fiber tripod. So I'm not bringing this part, but I am going to bring my monopod and that will allow me to stick this against a rail to try to hold my camera steady. I'm not sure if that's gonna work, but that's the strategy. So I've got my camera, my lens, my uh, monopod. I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures. I wanna make sure I don't run out of juice. I'm carrying an extra battery as well. Um, the other thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be using some filters. So I've got a little bag with a few filters in it. Uh, most notably, I have a circular polarizer. Now what this guy is going to do is allow me to twist and that's going to change the polarization of the things on the water. So if we have lots of reflections off of leaves or the water or mist, uh, the sun coming through, I can turn that circular polarizer to eliminate some of that glare. And that's gonna help me out. Anytime you have lots of reflections, you wanna use the circular polarizer. And we're also gonna be able to make the sky a little bit deeper blue. The other thing I have here in my uh, little kit, I have two ND4 neutral density filters. So I'll be able to put those on the end of the lens and try and see if I can shoot and drag the shutter and let that waterfall turn into glass. I'm not sure if that's gonna work, but I've got two ND4 filters to really darken the lens. So I've got my filters, I've got my camera, my monopod, my extra battery. I'm not bringing my Fuji. I just wanted to show you what we shot with a few days ago to scout with, but this is uh, what I'm gonna be bringing. I'm throwing all of that into my Tinba Trusty 24L shootout bag, we'll be taking that. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be walking through the park and because we're so restrictive, we can't bring a tripod for the video camera, so it's all gonna be handheld. You're gonna to have to forgive if we have a little bit of shake. Plus, we've got just thousands and thousands of people, so we're probably, Lexus she's shooting is probably gonna be jostled, and so please forgive if we have some bumps in the video because that's just par for the course where we're going. I'll be shooting, I'll be telling you what I'm doing as I'm doing it, and if I can't, I'll do a little voiceover. So let's pack all this stuff up and let's head over to Iguazu Falls. Well, we're here at Iguazu National Park. Here's a map of the entire park. Now the, uh, the shot that I really wanted when we were planning this entire trip is to shoot right here. Uh, unfortunately, one of the problems is there was a huge flood that came in from Brazil. In fact, this side is Argentina, this side of the falls is Brazil. I wanted to show how all these waters came over over two countries, but there was a huge flood. And so actually this entire infrastructure up here has been washed away. And so we can't get up there. So this, the only way to shoot that is to take a boat up the river, which is really expensive, or we'd have to cross over into Brazil and hike in and shoot from this angle. And unfortunately, we just don't have time to do that. So the original plan was to shoot that. That's out. And so in our scouting a couple days ago, we actually hiked this trail right here and found that this section right here is pretty amazing. And so that's where we're going to be heading. We're going to be heading over into this area here and shooting this way. We're going to miss the big falls over here, but we're going to see these really elongated things. And that's really going to make a difference at how we shoot. And so scouting really makes an important part of your photo journey 
because had we planned on shooting this, we'd be really disappointed if that's the only shot we got. So we're heading over here to shoot this, and so let's go. Well, this is the very first sighting of the falls that we have here, and as you can see, everybody wants to stop and see the falls, the first sighting. There are dozens, perhaps at least 100 people here right now, and so when you're trying to take pictures, you're competing with all these people. And so what I want to do is get to the end of this trail before all these people do, because I know where the best spot is, and I want to have to uh, wrestle these guys and elbow my way in and so I'm gonna make a beeline to the end of this to try to beat all of these people so I can get the shot that they can't because there's too many people standing in the way. All right the next thing I'm doing here I, I just put two neutral density filters on the end of my lens that's really gonna knock the light down quite a bit and what I'm gonna try to do is use this monopod sort of as a tripod I'm gonna put it against the rail and try to hold my camera extremely still so maybe I can drag the shutter and get a one or two second exposure to make that water turn into glass. I'm not so sure a monopod is going to get it, but maybe holding it against the rail will be successful. A tripod would be much better, but you can see that there are people everywhere. And so trying to put a tripod here just won't work in this situation. So we'll try this out and see how it goes. All right, so what I've done here, I have my monopod and I'm holding that as tightly as possible against this rail here. Now that's going to hold it from going up and down vertically, but we still have some left and right issues. So I'll do my best to hold that. This is, uh, I'm shooting an F22 at ISO 100. That's telling me I'm just a little over a half of a second of a, uh, an exposure. So I'm not sure I can hold it that long, but I'll try my best. So here we go, let's see what happens. All right, well this is the spot and luckily there's nobody here. There were hundreds of people here just two days ago, but this is the, the spot where everybody wants to shoot. And so I'm gonna camp out here as long as possible. I'm gonna shoot with my neutral density filters. I'll shoot without. But this is the glorious Iguazu Falls. We can see uh, Argentina on this side. We can see Brazil on the other side. It's just spectacular. So I'm shooting really wide here. I'm shooting at a 16 millimeter. I've got two neutral density filters going. I'm using manual focus. My exposure is half a second. One of the issues is using this platform as a tripod. When people walk, it actually shakes my tripod. I'm using the lines inside my viewfinder to try to make sure that everything is horizontal and level. If I'm positive, I'll have to do some adjustments in post-production. All right, let's get those neutral density filters off. Shoot some normal images as quickly as possible. There are people waiting here to shoot in this spot. So here we go, still at F22. Now my exposure has jumped up. I'm going to go down to about F14, F13, so I can be at about an 80th of a second. At a hundredth of a second, F13. Now I'm going to bracket a little bit. I don't know when I'll be back here, so I'm using exposure compensation to bracket these shots. Well, I had a lot of fun shooting at Iguazu Falls. I want to show you the results of these uh, pictures that I took. But before we do, I want to remind you that Adorama has great photography contests. So if you've shot some amazing landscape photography, you can enter that contest and win some great prizes. So click the link and enter today. Well, I've taken some of the shots, or all the shots that I took today, I threw them into post-production, did some tweaking to them, and here are the best of shots. I think I have one or two shots that I really like from today. The key to the shoot today was the first scouting day to try to figure out where to shoot, what the crowds are going to be like, what kind of equipment I could bring, all that stuff. So if you're shooting something like this and you have a couple days, make sure you scout first. And then once we knew that, the wide-angle lens works great. And then, of course, just making sure that we're able to hold this camera still and avoid the crowds. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget, you can subscribe to Adorama TV so you don't miss a single episode. So just click the link and subscribe today. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you again next time. looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.